All right, guys, today we are going to talk about Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is a way of figuring out the voltage, the current, or the resistance if you know the two others. So if we have a basic circuit here, we'll say this is 5 volts. There's a resistor. This is our voltage. This is our resistance. And this is our current that moves around the circuit. So, the easiest way to remember Ohm's law is through the Ohm's Law Triangle that goes V, I, R. So, to find out V, you multiply I times R. V equals I, R. To find R, you divide V by I. And to find I, you divide V by R. Pretty simple. One last thing is not in the triangle is power, which is V I. So why is this something that is important for us to know? Well, let's say for instance, you want to have a circuit that has an LED. And you know that you will be driving that circuit with five volts. <clears throat> and you know that you want to be driving that LED at around 20 milliamps. So you need to figure out knowing the volts and the milliamps, the value for this resistor. Okay? Now, I know what I would use in this case, it's a 220 ohm resistor. So if we remember the ohms triangle, we are solving for R. R equals V over I. R equals five divided by 0 0.02. R equals point, oh, I'm sorry, point two two. R equals zero two two seven. Simple, right? Nothing to it. Well, what if we increase our voltage to nine volts? R equals V over I. R equals nine divided by 0 0.022, R equals 0 0.040. Now that's too much. So we know we need to increase our resistor. So what if we say R equals 9 divided by 0.0. Four seventy. I'm sorry, no point by four hundred and seventy ohms. R equals zero point one nine one. So you see, we're back in the ballpark, and everything works fine. No matter what you do, what if we increase it to twenty volts? So R equals V 
divided by i, r equals 20, divided by 1k, r equals 0 0.020. Easy. I mean, there's nothing else to it. Now let's go back to our original equation. 5 volts, 220 ohm, 0.022 milliamps. What if we want to know how much power that circuit is using? So P equals V times I. P equals 5 times 0 0.22 and I don't have a calculator to figure out what the watts are but you guys get the idea there's really nothing to it all you've got to do is remember V I R Ohm's Law if you like this video, like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?